Leanne, good afternoon and good afternoon to you, Bill. First of all, may I just, just say something that I'm absolutely delighted with this idea of this 50,000 kilometre uh, walk, bike or whatever that you're going to ask many of the people who would have been there uh, on this Friday. Um, and in the hope that some of them will be able to get a bit of sponsorship, which will go towards helping you to raise something towards your 50,000, which you would normally have coming in from the, the luncheon. But I wish you well on that, and I will certainly try and partake myself. And I'd also, if I may, on a basis, and I'd like to congratulate you, Diane, and all your staff for the way that you have coped with looking after the additional numbers of families and children that you've had to take on during this pandemic. And I gather that there's up to sort of 250 extra children that you're now looking at, which is a big increase on the sort of 500 you had before mainly with the fishing industry and mainly from the northeast, which is our area. But I think you and your staff need an absolute vote of congratulations and our sincere thanks for what you're doing for these children at these difficult times. So well done and thank you for that. If I may just say a warm welcome to Bill and congratulate him on his uh, 65th birthday last November. And of course, he now qualifies for a flu jab. Although with his alcohol intake, I wouldn't have thought it would be necessary as the amount of alcohol he drinks could kill off any germs that he gets. Of course, last year, Bill, I did make, make reference to your impending retirement uh, in January of this year. And of course, you becoming a consultant at Williamson's for, for two days a week. And this year, I was going to just inquire and wonder how you had coped with this two days. And the fact that this was obviously a big increase in the amount of time spent at the office at Williamson's over the last few years. And rumour has it that uh, I gather that many at Williamson's have expressed surprise at seeing you so frequently uh, in the office and have commented that perhaps you are now actually working full time, which I find probably very true. But I do understand from my spies that, that one member of staff, having seen you, inquired to his colleagues exactly said, who is that? And they said, oh, that's Bill Waddington. And this chap came back and said, oh, he said, has he just joined us? <laughs> but with that, with that, I will, I will say to you, these, these comments will obviously have to wait for another year when you will have practiced retirement for a long time. But seriously, I would like to thank you or congratulate you on your uh, retirement. And I hope you enjoy uh, your your consultancy um, and working two days a week, which you obviously have been practicing for many years. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, uh, Diane, and good afternoon, Stephen, and anybody else who may uh, watch uh, this. Um, I will uh, unusually um, <clears throat> endorse most of what Stephen has said in uh, thanking Diane and the um, workforce at Sailors for the incredible amount of work they've put together so that everybody can join in this uh, 50,000 kilometer sponsored whatever it may uh, be. Um, Stephen is going to be walking unlike Uncle Tom uh, not up and down his garden he's just going to go around his garden once uh, which should cover the full 50,000 kilometers in one go. Um, <coughs> It's a great shame, of course, not to all be together uh, this year. And let's hope it is the only year that we find ourselves in this uh, situation. Um, it's a, a, a terrible uh, uh, thing for, as far as the charity is concerned. The luncheon is the biggest fundraising event of the year for the charity. And so many people have been have already been very generous in uh, forwarding donations in, in place of being able to attend. And it's to be hoped that the sponsorship raised with this 50,000 kilometre walk will go some way to reaching that uh, figure that we managed to reach, nearly managed to reach every year of around 50,000 uh, pounds or thereabouts. Um, when the rule of six came in the other week, um, there was a glimmer of hope that the lunch might be able to take place uh, because I had the great idea of putting Stephen down as the main and guest speaker 
And I assume that then the society would be able to sell just six tickets uh, f- or on one table of six for people who wanted to go and listen to him uh, speak. But uh, apparently, if Stephen was there as well, there'd be seven. So uh, it wasn't allowed to take place. Um, but be that as it may, Stephen, uh, yes, thank you for your good wishes on my uh, retirement. My birthday, incidentally, was uh, October and always has been. Um, it's October the 16th for anybody who's wanting to send me a, uh, a, a birthday card or anything of that nature. Um, I'll post my address a bit later on so that you can send presents and uh, gifts and indeed donations. Uh, please, to the retirement home in which I'm currently residing. Uh, It's three days a week I actually do, Stephen, not uh, two, so it is very much an increase on what I used to do uh, previously. Um, But of course, don't forget, I went from full-time to three days a week in February, and then of course in March, no days a week at all for March and April until... Uh, believe it or not, we as solicitors were forced back to work because we are classed as essential workers, may I tell you, uh, which is a very important badge for us to be wearing in order to protect you all from the evils of society. Um, so <laughs> there we go. That's my message to everybody. Hopefully see you all next uh, next year. Um, good luck to all of you who attempt this um, 50,000 kilometers or a portion of it. And uh, let's hope we can get somewhere near a very acceptable and substantial figure. Thank you very much indeed.